Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the American Lock number 885 double hinged padlock hasp. This is what the packaging looks like when you get it. I have one removed here so we can go over it. So, what you're looking at in the package is pretty much like this, even though it looks more like that. You can I obviously understand where the double hinge comes from, hinge point here and here. The staple is here, and it's heavy, it's substantial. It's a big nice piece of steel. You're going to have your plate back here. Let me show that to you again. Obviously completely concealed. Okay. So when you attach this down to the surface of whatever, uh, like the extended description says, maybe a van, or maybe a trunk, or maybe a vending machine, whatever you're locking, this will of course fold over and conceal those fasteners. You know, you can do a lot of things with this. Make a lot of angles. Then, when the unit is closed, and it covers the, the staple, once again, the fasteners are completely concealed. Let me give you an idea of the dimensions of the item. Let me go over the staple first. The width of it, about an inch and 11 sixteenths. The height, about an inch and 5 eighths. The total projection, about an inch and 5 sixteenths. Diameter of the hole for the padlock, that's nice to know. It's a half of an inch. So, and if I was going to give it a decimal size, I would say 0.48. I'd say it's just less than a half of an inch. So keep that in mind, whatever you're going to slide through that. Height of the unit, about an inch and 13 sixteenths. Thickness. the flat portion anyway, about 3 eighths of an inch. Length of it, and they have this at 7 and 3 quarter. That is indeed the case, you know, maybe 7 and 5 eighths. Now the plate width, about an inch and 3 quarter. The height of it, inch and a half. It's going to come with fasteners. You're going to come with, you're going to have carriage bolts that will be included in there, and some uh, sheet metal screws. Well, they, they call them wood screws, but they're threaded up all the way. There's a link below this video to the installation instructions, and it's the ba it's the back side of the of the packaging. Now, what they're going to have here is the carriage bolts, and there's two of them. They're going to go in the square holes that are on the staple. Okay, the plate back here is going to take those uh, flathead screws that are in the package. Kind of spread that out there. You're going to have two carriage bolts, washers, nuts that are here, and of course the balance of the fasteners. Now, generally, you know, if, you, if this is going onto a van or a sheet metal surface like a vehicle, um, you would remove, replace all of the wood screws or sheet metal screws, whatever they're called, and replace it with like 1024 or 1032 bolts, like stove bolts, and then get nuts and washers. And that's super simple. You can get, uh, you know, you're going to be able to get flat head screws to go in there. You'll have a small amount of recessed area inside of there to use a pan head as well. That wouldn't be a problem at all dealing with that. Uh, and that's generally how you're going to approach this because if you can through bolt it, you'll want to because, quite frankly, sticking a pry bar behind the head of the hasp itself at the staple or at the other side. If it's, you know, if it's just machine screws, uh, you have a much better chance of it not being pried off. In addition to that, you know, the surface of which you're going to apply this down to, you want to be sure is sub pardon me, substantial enough so that you can't work either end of the plate of the hasp off the face of what you're attempting to secure. So, you know, generally when attaching padlock hasps, the more secure the better. Uh, we have certainly gotten into uh, clients where they they don't bother with any of that. 
they literally weld the material to the face of what they're working on. And that's generally a utility truck, a bucket truck, something like that, where you can tolerate welding and then properly finishing the material as well. If you have any questions on the American Lock A885, heavy duty double hinged padlock hasp, or any other American Lock product, please feel free to reach out to us. There's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up a link to the full American Lock product catalog, and that's very handy because it will allow you to review all things American Lock related, not only hasps, but of course padlocks as well. There's a link to their website, which is handy uh, and allows you to review the manufacturer's uh, website to determine maybe new releases, things of that nature. Again, any questions on the A885 or any other American Lock product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.